and all of a sudden I, I get these cravings, these urges to do this. You know what you need to do? Quit watching those kind of things. Yes. Yeah. Quit listening to the kind of music that's going to pull you off of God's way. Start listening to holy, godly things. They'll pull you God's way. Hallelujah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Now you say, well, you're being kind of legalistic there, Pastor Mike. No, God says, be ye separate. Come out from among them. Don't do the things the world does. Don't act like the world does. Don't put yourself in positions where you're going to be sucked into old ways. We all have old things that we've been delivered from, right? Yes. Well, the devil wants to pull you back down to that junk. That's right. Say no to the devil. Say no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go there. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And the friend says, well, come on. Come on. You say, I, you come on with me to church. Right on, brother. Hang out with me. I'm going to be at church. Glory to God. Amen. Praise you, Father. I mean, if you're a real friend and they want to spend time with you, let them come to church with you. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Turn with me over to Matthew. Chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15. That's the first book in the New Testament. That's how I find that. There's four four Gospels in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So if, I, if I'm looking for Luke, I, I, I can find Matthew and then Mark, and I know Luke's right after that. Matthew chapter 15. Verse 1, Then came Jesus, then came to Jesus, scribes and Pharisees. These are the big wig religious leaders. These are the, the high up guys. The ones who call themselves the masters. Which were of Jerusalem saying, Why do thy or your disciples transgress the tradition? Say tradition. Tradition. of the elders. Yes. For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. Now you see they have like certain ceremonial washings. Come on. They require under their traditions. And what happens so many times is I was, I was actually reading some, some church history about some things and different churches uh, recently about how, how they have different traditions in the different churches. And so many of the traditions are not doctrinally sound scriptural things. They're traditions that were created by certain church organizations, certain churches, and they've been passed down through the ages, through hundreds of years. And they're really not God's ways, necessarily. They're just man's traditions. You see, when I was a kid, it was a sin in some churches for a woman to wear pants. Yes. Come on. That was a sin, okay? I mean, how many remember that, right? You know what's kind of funny is I was talking to an older pastor here not too long back, and, and, and his wife was wearing pants, and he was, of course, you know, that's, they're covered good, people are covered good with pants, right? And so, uh, so I said, you know, so I said, you know, do you remember those days when, when, the, when the preachers were preaching that it's a sin for women to wear pants, and now the pastor's wife that were preaching that, they're wearing pants. Most of them. And this is this happened to be one that was back there preaching that way back there. You see what I'm saying? You see, did sin change? Did God change? Did what was wrong change? No, traditions change. And what we need to do is seek the true thing. That's right. And walk after the true thing. Amen. That are righteous, that are holy, that are pure. I mean, it, to John the Baptist in his day, his idea of a good church clothes was a, was a uh, camel's hair <laughs> robe. Hallelujah. To kill a camel and, and skin it and wear that. Now, I know I smell better than he did wearing that camel. <laughs> Glory to God. I had a man come up to me. Uh, there was a trap. He was an evangelist at the time. When we very first started the church uh, over nine years ago, uh, this church, and uh, he came up to me and he said, now are you going to be in one of those churches that you don't always wear a tie? And I said, well, I said, uh, probably does. 
And he said, well, I don't think that's right. I think you should always wear a suit and tie if you're going to be a minister. And I said, really? He said, yeah. And I said, are you going to go to my church? He said, oh, no, I go to such and such a church. I said, well, if you're not going to go to my church, I don't think I really have to worry about it then, if you're, you know, whether you like it or not. I wasn't being mean to him. It's just like, <laughs> you're not going to go to my church anyhow. So what if, if I wear a tie and you go to my church? He wasn't going to go to my church probably wore a tie or not. He just thought he ought to bring some correction to me. Bring some instruction to me. He said, I ought to be wearing a suit and tie if I'm going to be a preacher. So, come on. The truth is, I've been ministering Christ since I was a teenager. And this guy's like in and out of his walk with God. Matter of fact, he's not, as far as I know, he's not even serving God right now. But he probably looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Here are the Pharisees and the scribes, the religious leaders, they're trying to correct Jesus with traditions of me. All right? We need to learn about true holiness and true righteousness and yes. live walk in God's way. Amen. In God's way. Do you hear what I'm saying? God's way, not man's way. And so they said, they said, this is what happened. People get so bent out of shape over things that don't even matter. And then, the, then they're off into, off into sin, real sin. But they had their hair right. Oh, I just think it's terrible for a man to have long hair. <laughs> if I had hair, I probably would let it grow longer. I used to have longer hair when I had hair. You see those pictures? Yeah. It's true, right? You know what I'm telling the truth? I thought that was dead after all. I just got hair. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So they said, Why did, did your disciples transgress the traditions of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. They don't go through this ceremonial washing. That, that we have determined that you should do. Because that shows that you are made clean. You know how you're made clean? By the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's, That's, absolutely. Absolutely. That's the only way. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you, why do you also transgress? Now notice they said, Why does your disciples transgress the traditions of the elders? Why do they not go along with what the, the old church leaders have been passing down all these years? The elders. Why do they, why do they transgress that? And then Jesus said, why do you transgress the commandments of God? He said, why do you transgress the commandments of God? By your traditions. You have traditions, he said, that are contrary to what God said. Yet you put your traditions above what God said. The commandments of God. For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and your mother. And he that curseth father or mother, let him die to death. But you say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest profit by this. In other words, they, could, he, they have set it up where they could steal their parents' stuff and just say, Well, that's just a gift. Because, you know, we deserve that for our inheritance anyhow. And instead of honoring their folks, they were just stealing from their folks, and they actually set it up where they could do that. And he said, you, by your traditions, are going against the commandments of God. You're going against God's will. Some of the church says you can live like the devil and live for the devil, and you're still okay with God. God says, "If you, the day you eat it, that you will surely die. The devil told Eve, when she said, God said we shouldn't even touch it. And he said, the devil said, oh, God didn't mean that. God didn't mean you would die. God's a loving God. God's a God of mercy. God's a God of grace. Go ahead. Doesn't it look good? The devil got him to look at the fruit. Doesn't it look good? They looked at it. 
Mmm, it does look good.